So in the previous videos, we discussed acids and bases and the reaction between acids and bases, which is called the neutralization reaction. Now, let's get into some of the types of oxides and we'll see why this fits into the topic of acids and bases. So in this video, we're going to study the three types of oxides, which are basic oxides, neutral oxides and finally acidic oxides now let's begin with basic oxides and basic oxides are formed when metals react with oxygen now Let's take an example. Well, a very famous example, and we studied this before, is the reaction between copper, solid, reacting with oxygen gas, and that will form copper oxide. Now, copper oxide acts as a base. Now, this product right here, which is copper oxide, is a base. So, if we react copper oxide with an acid, a neutralization reaction is happening so let's see so here we have copper oxide reacting with let's react it with an acid like hydrochloric acid and that will form what the neutralization reaction we said is base plus acid will form salt plus water so we expect here a salt plus water so for starters Let's begin with the easy one. So we expect water. And here we said the simple trick is to do this. So out and in. So that will form copper chloride. And this is a soluble salt according to the solubility rules. Now that's the reaction between a basic oxide which is copper oxides are acting with an acid so a base plus acid is a neutralization reaction and we said that basic oxides are formed from the reaction between metals and oxygen now let's move on to neutral oxides and neutral oxides from the title they are neither acidic nor basic they don't fit into the category of acidic and basic, they're just neutral. For example, carbon monoxide, let's put that in here. So, carbon monoxide and dinitrogen oxide. So, that's that for the examples of neutral acids. We're not getting we're not getting into details of these, but you just have to know that there are some oxides that are neutral. Now let's discuss acidic oxides. Well, acidic oxides are formed from, from the reaction of nonmetals plus oxygen. So the formation of oxides depends on oxygen gas. Okay, so you'll find it like, for example, the basic oxides. We said that, for example, here the copper oxide. The neutral oxide, we said there's carbon monoxide, so there's always an oxygen involved. So acidic oxides are formed from the reaction of non-metals with oxygen. Now, let's see some examples. Well, a famous example, and we discussed during our videos here, is the formation of acid rain. And we said that acid rain, let's write it here. So acid rain is formed by the reaction of sulfur dioxide with the water from the rain and that will form an acid. Now we said that sulfur dioxide, which is the gas right here, is formed from the reaction of sulfur plus oxygen gas. And sulfur is a nonmetal. So that's that for the types of oxides we discussed three types which were basic oxides neutral oxides and acidic oxides and we said that basic oxides are formed from the reaction of metals with oxygen 
and neutral oxides we didn't get into the details but you guys have to know that they are neither acidic nor basic and finally we discussed acidic oxides and we said that they are formed by the reaction between non-metals and oxygen so stay tuned for the next videos we're gonna talk about preparation and filtration and all those processes which are done in the lab and you guys have to know about them so stay tuned and good luck